is what I do when I get bored. I go on the Daily Mail website and I read articles. And most of the time they're good. Most of the time they make me laugh because they're so ridiculous and stupid. But today there was two... Uh, I must have just been in a bad mood or something and... Oh, I now I just I hate the world. I now hate the world because of the Daily Mail. Okay, so these are the two stories. The first one was about plastic surgery. It was a link that they had to um, a story on an American news site. If, yeah, if the Daily Mail links to our website, it's obviously going to be ridiculous. But um, it was about plastic surgery. At first there was a video on and it was talking about this man wants to be shorter and this man wants to be taller. And then they were talking about how they wanted to, to change their heights and stuff. And then the reporter said, well, it's a growing problem, no pun intended, in the States. I was like, that was clearly a pun intended pun. A pun intended. It was clearly a pun intended. <laughs> Reporting. Then read on the article. The title of the article is, Why increasing numbers of black women are having cosmetic surgery. Um, generally when I look on the data on my website, I'm sort of looking for the articles that I would least want to read because I think that they're going to give me the most enjoyment out of reading them because they're so ridiculous. This one just annoyed me <laughs> because of... Um, um, what, like, what, the quotes, the quotes that were on the website were really bad. One woman said that she was getting Botox despite community pressure. Yeah, pressure, pressure not to get cosmetic surgery. Uh, one woman said that she had overcome cultural stigmas to get the surgery. I, I know myself personally, I would find it really difficult to get plastic surgery if I was in a group of people that didn't want to get plastic surgery because they generally accepted people without it. Because they thought, you know, it's not really necessary. So yeah, that made me hate the world a little bit. But then I read a little bit more of a serious article. It was saying how recently in Iraq, um, 90 students had been stoned to death for either being homosexual or for being emo. Now I'm not so sure about the emo thing because in general the Daily Mail hates emos for some reason. Like I remember a few years ago they ran a story where basically they said that being emo is being in a religion. And I specifically remember a quote that they said, when emos die, they believe that they go to the Black Parade. That was, just, oh, I hate the Daily Mail for that. But it was just funny for the ridiculousness. However, this isn't funny because obviously people are getting killed. The people on the street are getting attacked and stoned to death. Students for sporting Western hairstyles and for wearing Western clothing. Apparently, Iraq's Interior Ministry have actually released a statement saying that they are comparing emos to devil worshipping and that they're doing their best to eliminate this phenomenon because it's so detrimental to society. Yeah. Lovely. So that's why I hate the world this week. Well, some of the reasons, you know. So many. <laughs> the weather's nice though. Bye. Well, it used to be nice. It's kind of overcast now, you know. Overcast. That's a word that doesn't even make sense. What is this thing that I am looking at?